It's that time, summer season uniforms. So here's the thing when it comes to seasonal uniforms, they do not pop up besides for their season, which means if you don't buy them within the two week time period or whatnot for the summer season, you have to wait all the way till next year. When there's a uniform sale, these are not available. When there is the yearly Black Friday or even anniversary sale, you can't get these uniforms. You can only get them during summer. So the question is, which ones do you invest in? Well, lucky for you, I have an opinion to share. So I'm going to share my opinion on which uniforms you should get, which uniforms that you should skip. And uh, my opinion is kind of a, a an acc accumulation of me playing for multiple years, as well as talking to other people who play as well. So I'm going to rank each of the uniforms with an A, B, or C. A uniforms are must buy, in my opinion. B uniforms are really nice ones to have. And C uniforms, in my opinion, are completely skippable and have no value today in the game. So... Let's go ahead and go through them all and uh, see if this can help you make a decision. So to begin with, we're going to start with Storm. Storm has Krakoan Summer. The Krakoan Summer uniform for me is an A uniform. 100% need to buy this uniform for multiple reasons. So to begin with, even if you do not choose to take her all the way to Tier 4 and you don't necessarily want to use Storm, this uniform makes her a meta support for AB game modes. And you can use a lot of the support characters like Storm in any PvE game mode you can think of. I would not use this uniform for PvP. This is going to be for World Boss, Legendary, GBR, or if you're going to do, like I said, AB. Specifically ABL, this uniform has recently been, re actually, I did not even recently, this uniform has been replaced multiple times. It has been replaced by Rogue and Cable for ABL, and more recently with Psylocke. We'll get to her in a second. But this uniform still has value. It is still going to be a support meta uniform. And outside of that, within World Boss Legendary, she's still a glass cannon. She still does a fantastic job. So she's still usable if you choose you want to build her. Specifically with this uniform, if you go to her skills and you go to her passive, what it's going to do is all allies, which means just by having her on the team, she's going to give ignore targets dodge rate by 30%, which helps hit targets that are jumping around and bouncing around and dodging. And it also increases damage to all elemental damage by 55 percent that is a nice boost and that's all elemental damage elemental damage some people look over what it is so i'm just going to kind of explain it at a high level basically any of these abilities that are not just raw physical or energy so we're talking stuff like fire lightning cold even mind and poison all of those are considered elemental damage types so if any of your characters deal that type of damage and you can see this on their skills for example, lightning damage, 70% of energy attack and additional lightning damage. Storm actually boosts herself with this uniform. So any of those, any of the elemental stuff, any of the fire characters, Ghost Rider, Jean Grey, poison characters like uh, Green Goblin, any of those are going to get this boost. So just by having her on the team. So this is why I'm saying this is an A uniform. If you can pick this up, this is a great support uniform. And again, She's also usable in World Boss Legendary if you needed her on certain stages. So that's one, one uniform there, right? Let's talk about Luna Snow next. Luna Snow's Summer Lilac uniform, in my opinion, is also an A uniform, but you have to be careful here because you can't get this with crystals. You have to buy the tokens and pay for it unless they change that. I, I own all the uniforms, so I don't remember the exact way you would pick it up now today. If you can get it, with just crystals, it's a no-brainer. Get it. If it's you have to buy the tokens and spend the tokens on getting it, which I believe is the case, it's up to you if you want to invest that type of money in the game. We can talk about whether or not you spend money in the game and my opinions on that in a different video. But specifically with Summer Lilac, Luna Snow is usable everywhere in PvE. GBR, World Boss, Legendary, and ABX and ABL meta. She scores incredibly high with this uniform. If you're going to build her up to tier four and you don't have this uniform, you're doing yourself a disservice. Th this is such a power spike for her. So I would 100% recommend picking up this uniform. Next on the list is Quicksilver. Quicksilver, Summer Days uniform is a C. Even when this uniform came out, he wasn't really used in very many places, and he has a newer uniform, the Mighty Avengers, which is better anyway. There's nothing else to say about it. I personally would skip this uniform. I don't think it's worth getting, even if you like the character, just get the newest uniform. Next one, of course, is going to be Cable. Cable's uniform over here for Summer Days, when it came out, it was very usable with an energy CTP. It, it had its time. It's been retired. Cable is much better. 
using a rage with the heart of darkness. In fact, he is still ABL meta today. A lot of uh, the competitive alliances that I've spoken with and people that focus on AB, it's kind of either Psylocke or Cable at this point. And they score very, very, very close. So if you are going to get Cable and Tier 4 Cable, just get the Heart of Darkness. So at this point, I would give it a C for the Summer Days uniform. Just go ahead and skip it. Iceman, Krakoan Summer, C. Maybe a B. If you really like Iceman, you've already invested in him. He needs this, but he's not going to excel in World Boss Legendary. There are so many better characters specifically for Blast Males. Even Blast Mail, I think he's even classified as uh, as a mutant. So he's under allies for mutants. So Blast Mail, mutants, like there's other options. The investment that required to make this good, in my opinion, is just not worth it. So I would consider this a C and I would just skip it. Enchantress. Enchantress is also a C. Her Summer Days uniform, even though it's not bad, you want her War of Realms uniform because that's the uniform that's going to make her the best support possible for different game modes like AB. So again, C, it's a skip. Next one is Yondu. Yondu kind of came out of left field. This is an insane boost as a support character. Now, right now, you can use him, of course, in any of the speed scenarios or any of the speed days and I've tested him out a little bit in open day with ABX and Gladiator. Not a huge boost. In ABL, I'm getting personally almost a million and a half more by using Yondu versus just having a filler character. Having an extra support character in there is absolutely insane and amazing. And in fact, I'm probably going to end up throwing an insight on this uniform. So there's a couple things that he's actually doing here with this uniform. Uh, the first thing, wrong passive, I'm sorry, Alien Allies are going to get increased basic damage dealt to supervillains by 50%. But there's more. Wait, there's more. Go to the uniform, uniform effects. Again, alien allies. Increase all basic attacks by 35% and an additional 40% increased damage dealt to boss types. That is 90% extra damage being dealt to boss types. This is going to only work for characters that if you go to their info, you go to the details, they're going to need to be allies alien which is Gladiator. Right now, Gladiator is meta. He is usable in ABX and ABL. And in fact, on his ABL a Alien Mail Day, this uniform is a must buy. So this is 100% an A. Even if you don't like AB, if you're going World Boss, Legendary, GBR, other types of game modes, this is just going to do a huge spike specifically for Alien characters. So there you go. In my opinion, 100% A, get this uniform. Yondu is definitely worth the investment. Uh, the next one is Psylocke. Now, I don't have it yet because it's another paywall type of uniform, just like uh, Luna Snow's Summer Lilac. So the Summer Vacation uniform, everyone that has gotten it so far that's on my alliance or other people who have used it is saying that this replaces Rogue for ABL meta and competes with cable. Now, as you saw, my cable is a tier three. So for me, it's a no brainer. I'm picking up this uniform. Not only do I have every uniform, but one in the game, it's it's replacing both rogue and I don't have cable yet. So again, I'm going to have two different days in ABL that I can use Psylocke for. And again, this is just making her an all round better character. So go for it. Pick up this uniform if you want to be competitive. But again, just like Luna Snow, do you want to spend the money or don't you want to spend the money? If you want to push AB, it's an A. If you're not pushing AB, honestly, it's probably a B just because of the actual monetary value in order to get the uniform. If you don't want to buy the tokens or get the tokens, that's a decision you need to make for yourself. Mysterio is an A. 100% worth getting this uniform because of the supportability. Again, you're going to use Mysterio in AB, but you're also going to use him in any of the PVE game modes as well. His bonus is on his uniform, so if you get a uniform effects, this uniform is going to give all supervillains on the team increased all basic attacks by 30% and increased basic damage dealt by 40%. So again, just a great uniform. It's a support character. I've never done anything else with Mysterio other than use him as support, and I do have an insight on him because he's just that good as a support character. Uh, and then last but not least is Silk. I don't think I missed any other summer uniforms. If I did, feel free to leave it in the comments and either I'll make an updated video or just respond to you in a comment. This this is a C. If you're going to use Silk, it's kind of like the Iceman scenario. I would almost give this a B over using Iceman because you can at least use Silk some places. She's just not going to do as well as having other uniforms. There are better speed options. 
you know, even Spider Gwen and Spider Gwen is amazing, by the way. There are so many other female speed characters, even spider characters that honestly, I almost feel like this is better to be a C and better to be a skip because you just don't really need it unless you really want to build silk. It is her best uniform right now. So there you go. There's a high level overview of all the summer uniforms going on right now and which ones I would pick up and which ones that I would skip. What if you only have a limited number of uniforms you can buy or limited number of resources? Not everyone's a star creator. I have a little bit of an advantage that I get the extra crystals. I also spend money out of my own pocket to buy even more crystals because I like the game. So if you are limited, what do you spend? What do you buy out of those ones that I mentioned? In my opinion, out of all of these uniforms, the number one uniform I would recommend if you're willing to spend the cash is Luna Snow. That's the number one uniform. After Luna Snow, it's going to be kind of situational depending on your favorite game modes. Probably the next uniform I would recommend is Yondu just because of the power spike of having that support and having it so fresh, followed by Mysterio. Even though he's more niche for villains, I like I like the alien boost better because a lot of our alien day teams for AB or just generally playing a world boss legendary doesn't have as much support and the spike that you're getting is much larger than what you're getting out of Mysterio. So I would probably say Luna, then Yondu, then Mysterio, followed by Enchantress. Enchantress might be tied with Storm for me. Storm is more niche. She's specifically with, with elemental characters, and I feel like we do have other supports that can work on those elemental teams. So even though Storm is also a very viable option, I would almost put her on the same tier as Enchantress to make a choice. So Luna, Yandu, Mysterio, Storm, and Enchantress are kind of there together. After that, I would say Psylocke. Now, the reason I say Psylocke last out of this group so far is because Psylocke is... Her main value, aside from the fact that she costs money and is monetary, her main value is going to be ABL, in my opinion. Even though, yes, she's going to be great in a lot of different game modes, if you were going to financially invest in this game, Psylocke would be next. Now, the reason I would recommend Luna over Psylocke is because I know Luna does so great everywhere. Maybe Psylocke, I'll change my mind once I see her in action. But there you go. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos at all, consider interacting with them, letting me know that you enjoy them and what you want to hear about, and I'll make more in the future. Catch you in the next one.